In this media, you will learn about additional precautions required prior to departure from loading port. Compliance with the stability criteria does not guarantee immunity against capsizing. Exercise prudence and good seamanship with regard to season of the year, weather forecasts, and navigational zone. Also, take appropriate action with respect to the speed and course warranted by the prevailing circumstances. Ensure that the cargo allocated to the ship can be stowed in compliance with stability criteria. If necessary, the amount should be limited to the extent that ballast weight may be required. Take care to ensure that the cargo and sizable pieces of equipment have been properly stowed or lashed prior to the commencement of voyage. This is required to minimize the possibility of shifting while at sea under the effect of acceleration created by rolling and pitching. Minimize free surface effect. Certain bulk cargoes may have adverse effect on stability. Refer IMSBC code. Comply with any special precautions prescribed in the stability book. Close all doors and other openings in adverse weather. These should also be kept closed during navigation except when opened for work. Water should not be trapped in deck walls. Allow for absorption of water by cargo, icing, and consumption of fuel and stores during the voyage up to the next port when calculating the departure and arrival stability conditions. Ships should be upright before departure.